Next, we're gonna talk a little bit about conditional formatting. I love conditional formatting to kind of highlight the winners, losers, and really look for that goal that's just hiding in your pivot tables. Pivot tables are so malleable. And one of the things that happens is that you might hone in on a great cut of data and you wanna analyze it using conditional formatting. But if you don't set up the conditional formatting correctly, you could actually lose that view and lose the um, usefulness that you just applied. And it'll make more sense in a second. So right here I have just a handful of categories out of um, the whole data set. I have the sum of quantity sold and I have the revenue. First of all, let me format this. Whoops. Format this as a number. Looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to apply conditional formatting first to this entire column. There's a lot of ways to do it. One of the most popular is using color scales, and that's essentially a scale of color the top to bottom. Like in this case, green highlights the top color and red highlights the bottom. You can also do the reverse where red's highlighted if it's the best at the top and vice versa. You can also use single color, like kind of a monochrome and all of the, the lower items are white, the top one's green and vice versa, top color's white, bottom one's green. I want you to first notice what happens if I accidentally select the grand total row. Because it's a grand total, it's obviously going to be bigger than every other row uh, in our data set. So I'm going to unselect that. And I'm only going to highlight these rows. Now when I go to conditional formatting, use the same color scale, I get a more honed in view of what's actually the top uh, quantity sold, which is the, the uh, hammers. But look what happens when I start to, so if we zoom out for a second and I say, this is great, I wanna see you know, of these categories, which one sold the most. If I start selecting other categories using my slicer over here, some of them had conditional formatting applied, but some of them didn't. So intuitively, you would think that Excel would realize you're trying to see the same conditional formatting applied to that column, no matter how I change it. But Excel doesn't see it that way. It caches or stores the conditional formatting for the ones you applied it to, and when those pop up again, it will serve it to you. If not, they're gone. So the trick with this is to select every category or like every uh, you know, dimension you're working with and go to what's called a table view. So if you come up to your design pivot table design tab and we go over to report, report layout, you show in tabular form. Sorry, I said table, tabular. Uh, show in tabular form, so that's what we're doing. And then if you have multiple items or sorry, multiple um, items in a, in a category like we do, we want to uh, repeat all uh, labels. I prefer to, to have them all repeated, you don't have to, but I think it looks cleaner, it looks like a nice clean table. I'm going to clean or clear the conditional formatting from this entire sheet and we're gonna start from scratch. Since I have everything selected, I'm going to do that, find my conditional formatting, and we're going to do a green to white scale. That, and then for this, we'll do a data bar. So data bar is essentially a bar that just shows up in the pivot table to show you what the highest and lowest values are. For money, we'll use the green. So now because we've done it in this table view, this expanded view, this conditional formatting is going to follow us through our different cuts of data. I should mention one thing that I did before I started recording and I turned off subtotals. So you do not wanna see subtotals. They appear at the bottom of every group, group usually. We're gonna turn those off. So now when I click chisel, Let's start with the categories. Let's do abrasives all the way through hand tools. So I'm not selecting every category. It's only about half of them, but I have the quantity sold and the revenue, and I have the conditional formatting applied correctly to only the ones I select.